Well, we're here with Bill McConnell at uh, Dunright Building Services. How are you doing, Billy? Good, Mike. How are you? We wore our black shirts when it's 85, 90 degrees. We did our job. <laughs> but management's supposed to do that, right? That's right. That's uh, right. Well, this is actually a big project that you guys are putting together here right now. This is a commercial project. That's and correct. You guys take care of the commercial projects, too. And uh, we're down here in Perrysburg, and you're, uh, you're actually literally reciting uh, this business and this artistic creations here in uh, Perrysburg but you're but you're going a whole new look with this and and being able to take two or three different surfaces and kind of mend it all together to make it look real pretty right what he had here in the beginning was a uh, pole barn type unit here a uh, space in between the two buildings and a block building next to it mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're actually combining all three units together so that when we put the siding on It'll look continuous as one big building completely sided. Now, one of the things that you know we're looking at, obviously, uh, we're going we're to be putting new doors in here and doing a lot of right. new stuff that way. But uh, what what were some of the challenges on? Uh, I, I noticed we've got we've got an OSB or we've got plywood here, but as you go down. I see a lot of stone over there too, and that's right. going to be something I know we'll talk about here in the next couple of shows, but what, what's going to be uh, going on with that? We're going to completely fur out that block area okay. so that the plywood will continue straight down. Oh, very neat. So that the sheathing will be continuous and the same level all the way across. Oh, fantastic. So we set the siding in, it'll, be, it'll look continuous all the way down. Uh, this is probably about a week, week and a half project for you. We're going to show you a little bit as it's going on here now, and I think we, we need to get over there and maybe... Uh, I, they might might need our help actually with this siding because this is a brand new siding too. Well, it's a new type of siding. It's going to look a little different. Well, the steel sidings are becoming more and more prevalent because the actual steel material is becoming more affordable right, right. than it had been in the past. So you see a lot more of it being used on roofing and a lot more of it being used on siding for, for an exterior cladding. Well, we got Andrew over here from Siding World. And Andrew, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I, I'm not supposed to. He, he hurt his hand. I got to be careful with him hurting his hand there. Andrew, this product, uh, I, I noticed one thing about this product is, uh, as you guys were talking, it's very easy. Once you get everything set and put the way it needs, it's a very easy product. It's pretty much going to last forever. Yeah, it should. Uh, there's a lot of different types out. This is, uh, like Bill mentioned, the uh, classic rib. Mm -hmm. It's used for siding, uh, roofing, it can be used on substrate, on purlings. It's got a lot of different uses to it. Now, something that I see right now, we've got our we've got our first piece. I have our cameraman there. We've got our first piece on here. Um, uh, basically, what do they have to do for the for the standpoint of making sure that they get everything straight? I mean, are, are you is everything level off the bottom, or I mean, you're level if in, the building isn't level? That's in, I guess where I want to go with that. In a perfect world. In a perfect world, you know. Um, this building here, you have different falls with the ground. Normally, you would level it from the ground up. Sure. If it were square and level and, and plumb. But this one here, what you're going to have to do is you're going to run that tight to the ground. You're, this is what you call your uh, J channel. J channel right here, right? Okay. Then you want to split the difference on your windows. Oh, okay. Because otherwise, you're going to have 39 inches down here. You may have sure. 34 inches here. So once you get this line level, then you can go with the rest of it. Now are you are you gonna put like a J channel type thing here then with the windows then too? Okay. This has all the same accessory trim pieces as a vinyl siding basically. But you want to when you come up to your J channel, you want to be on the low part of of, of your cut. You don't want to be on a high part and that's where all of your your measurements come in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Andrew, tell us a little bit about this wrap that's on here on the windows. This is, uh, I, I mean, is this an insulation factor? Is this a keep the water out factor? or? Uh, it's mostly a water barrier. Okay, okay. Um, any cracks that you may have along, along your window, between your window and your J channel, any water or vapor that gets in there, that's going to seal the window from any perfect uh, moisture from getting inside the building basically is this a product too that uh, you know there are a lot with the roofing companies now are using a product similar to that you know as the first straight of your roof you know to keep it from getting the ice and stuff in there yeah, you have same kind of protection here uh, it, yeah it's, it's similar product uh, the stuff for the roofing is a little bit thicker mill uh, and there's different uh, types of it um, you have the your standard ice and water then you have your high temp ice okay. and water now, Leonard, we're uh, putting in a couple of pieces here now, and, uh, and this basically kind of goes up uh, just like a uh, just like a regular uh, siding would go up. You know, obviously got to get it to there, and those are self-tapping screws then, right? Yes, they are. You have different lengths, different types of screws for whatever substrate you're going into. Okay. 
they're gonna want to get that lined up. So once this wide scoting goes up, Andrew, and they put the Z bar on, mm -hmm. the rest of the vertical panels just slide, slide right across, yep. right? So the hard part is down hard getting part started. Is your, is your bottom row. Right when you're doing the wings. This, will, this, will, this is with the wings coating. Will this be a different color than here? Yeah. Or? Okay, very good. The customer's colors are green and tan. Oh, very nice. So we've got a real nice green on the bottom and then a, like a wicker clay color going above it. Us as Siding World, we've sold primarily most of the metal that we've done at the company up north in Michigan, around Saginaw, Bay City, uh -huh. Mackinac, that way. Um, but so far this year, uh, Toledo, more and more of it. I mean, doors are knocking right now. Yeah. 